Welcome back to the latest episode of Conference Chatter TV, where I pick every game in the Big 12 this college football season. We are at the very end of the regular season here and on into postseason play. It's the Big 12 Championship this Saturday. It's going to be a great game between number 13 Nebraska, number 10 Oklahoma. I'm here to make that pick in this episode of Conference Chatter TV. So thanks for checking out the latest episode. My name is Eric Sorrentino. I'm the KUSports.com Big 12 blogger, and we have two very good teams facing off. For the season, I am 76-20, and 20, picking Big 12 games at a 79.2% clip. I'm going to look to get a little bump up from picking this game here this weekend. It's going to be on primetime TV at 7 p.m. I can't wait to see it. Now, this is going to be the last Big 12 championship game well, for now, I mean, we know that the Big 12 will be without Nebraska and Colorado next season, um, and the Big 12 will not be able to stage a championship game because NCAA rules require at least 12 teams for a title game. And I think this one is going to be fitting. I mean, Oklahoma, Nebraska, back to the old school days of the Big 8. This was a great rivalry back then, and it's going to be a good one on Saturday. Uh, a very fitting way to end the conference championship game. Oklahoma going for its seventh Big 12 championship. Nebraska going for its third. The Huskers have not had one since 1999. Now, whatever team wins on Saturday, the post game should be particularly interesting. If Nebraska wins, especially, I mean, how will Commissioner Dan Beebe hand the trophy over to Bo Pelini and Tom Osborne? That will be an incredibly awkward situation, but I think the Huskers fans would love the awkward situation. You know, playing in their last game in the Big 12 here in the, you know, obviously before the bowl game, but this is the last Big 12 championship, and, you know, how great would that be for Huskers fans to go out on that winning note? And now if Oklahoma wins, it wouldn't be quite as awkward, but how would the stadium, uh, Cowboy Stadium in Arlington, Texas, how would they respond to the last game that Nebraska plays in. You know, there's so many storylines going on in this that whichever team wins, the post game is going to be a very interesting sort of combination there, a very interesting atmosphere, and I'm curious to see how both fan bases handle it. As for my pick, you know, both teams, <laughs> this is a pretty even game. They're both 10-2, and two, but I'm going with a more sure thing in this game. I'm going with Oklahoma. I liked them last week. I picked them last week uh, against a one-loss Oklahoma State squad in Stillwater, and I liked them again one week later in Arlington, Texas. The Sooners have won two straight games on the road. No longer can Bob Stoops' team not play on the road. I think they come prepared for this game and knock off Nebraska. Now, you know, and when I say it's a more sure thing, you know, you look for the Huskers, I have no idea who's playing quarterback for Nebraska come Saturday. Will Taylor Martinez be healthy enough to play in this game. Now, Martinez reportedly practiced on Wednesday, but he had to wear a boot on his left foot after the practice. Now, I don't really know what that means. I, I'm quite sure, though, that Taylor Martinez will not be 100% on Saturday. And if that's the case, can Cody Green lead this team to a Big 12 championship? Is Nebraska confident that he could do that? I don't know if they are. Um, he's been shaky at best this season, so... I think the OU defense can limit Nebraska enough, especially if Martinez is out. As for the Oklahoma offense, it's been very solid lately, and Landry Jones, the quarterback in particular, has been the reason why. Jones has 12 touchdown passes in his last three games. He's really come to play lately, and in all of those three games, he's been over 300 yards passing. So this is where Oklahoma wins the ball game to me, and that is if Landry Jones plays well, because you take a look at Nebraska, the Huskers have the second-ranked pass defense in the entire country. They're very, very stout against the pass, and if the Sooners can establish Roy Finch, DeMarco Murray a little bit early to set up Landry Jones, it's going to be up to Jones to, you know, and that offensive line to protect him um, as to whether Oklahoma can score, score enough points to win this game. Um, the receivers, you know they'll be there. Ryan Broyles leads the country in receptions per game. You know he'll be there. Um, they have, they have uh, a, a lot of, 
they, they have an explosive offense, but it's going to be up to Jones to overcome this really, really solid Nebraska D, especially that pass defense, because they are very good. Now, this, these uh, two teams did not play in the regular season. The last time they met was last season. Nebraska won 10-3 to in Lincoln, and Landry Jones threw five interceptions. If you guys remember that game, the very low-scoring, ugly game. So I look for Jones to bounce back this year, have a better game against Nebraska than he did last year, and lead these Sooners to their seventh Big 12 championship trophy. So it's going to be a great game. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll be back on Sunday to reflect on the game, reflect on my pick, and reflect on everything, how, how the game went down, how the fan bases handled it afterwards. It's going to be fascinating. I can't wait to watch the game on Saturday. I hope you guys enjoy it. For now, I'm Eric Sorrentino. I am out, and I'll talk to you again this weekend. Thanks a lot.